So this morning uh, we're up a little bit earlier than most of the other days. Um, we are heading over to Pisa uh, by train. Um, we'll, we'll take about an hour on the train to get there and yeah we're going to go see the leading car Pisa and you know all the other things that are there. So I'm super excited. We have made it to Pisa Central Station and now we are walking over to where the wind tower is. Uh, Google says it'll take about 25 minutes. Uh, but we're just going to stroll over there. I think we do have a 10.30 slot for the tower. So as long as we get there by then, everything's good. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> it is so cool. Purchase my tickets through the official Opera della Primaziala Pisana website. I bought the complete package plus the tower. This gave me access to the tower, cathedral, baptistery and the Campo Santo. The ticket will also allow you to visit the Opera del Duomo Museum and the Sinope Museum. I thought it was great value and I liked that I had a guaranteed time to visit the tower. Speaking of visiting the tower, you aren't allowed to take bags or backpacks in there, but there are lockers available for you to store your items in. There are lots of stairs, but you don't need to rush. Take your time and enjoy the experience. So I am atop of the leading car of Pisa uh, with some bells and this is just incredible and we we're sitting down for a few minutes just soaking it all in. You know there's some snow capped mountains in the distance, they look absolutely beautiful. Um, luckily there's no wind up here, there's no rain, it's just it's beautiful. Like I just, I have no words really. Some of the really cool parts about the tower is you, you, you can tell what side of the building you're on because it either feels really difficult going up the stairs or it feels a little bit easy. Um, so either you're kind of going up and you're pushing against it or you're kind of going down on the lean. Uh, the other thing too is the wear on the tread is different. So you, again, you can tell what side of the building you're on because it might be against the wall on one side or it might be against the inside wall on the other. So, and again, it just denotes which side of the building you're on. So I found those things really, really interesting. So the cathedral looks amazing from up here. It's just, it's, if, if, you, if you're ever here, you got to do it. You just, you got to do it. tower we visited the cathedral. I love the different coloured stone that was used to create the stripes along the building. The building of the cathedral started in the 11th century and it celebrated its 900th anniversary in 2018. The bronze doors are a fascinating feature, make sure you check them out. And now, time for some yummy lunch. So 
we've just had some lunch um, and I had uh, pizza, vegetarian pizza. I am missing veggies a little bit, so I'm going to have to seek out more vegetable options. Um, and uh, we just came out to um, take some more photos and whatnot. So we are going to go to one of the museums. Um, look, it's just, it's, it's just beautiful here. I just can't stop looking at this magnificent building. I just love it. Make sure you find the door to go out into the courtyard whilst visiting the museum. You get incredible views of the tower from underneath the awning. Don't miss the artworks on the higher levels of the museum. For me, the small, colourful paintings were so intriguing. They depicted some really interesting scenes and should not be missed. into the Museum del Sinope and it was so awesome um, there was some really incredible art in there and um, you know and some of it was pretty dark actually so I really enjoyed looking at the etchings uh, I did enjoy looking at the, the big ones but um, sometimes it was hard to make out exactly what you were looking at um, just because it's been faded or damaged over the years so but the etchings brilliant absolutely brilliant loved it um, all right on to the next thing now which I think is the Baptistery. Anyway, I don't know. There's a couple more things that we've still got to um, that we've still got on our ticket, so we'll go to those next. And yeah, so exciting! I'm so excited to be here. After checking out the souvenir stalls just outside the square, we then decide to visit the baptisserie. It's another beautiful building that is built in alternating stone colours, giving the facade a stripy look, just like the cathedral. The details of the upper area of the facade are amazing. When you visit, make sure you head to the upstairs level because you get the most incredible view of the cathedral. My favourite part of the view is seeing the leaning tower peeking out over its right shoulder.
just went into the baptistry where we were treated at the end uh, with some singing. So it was beautiful to be, to be able to hear that. Um, yeah, and I was really surprised by the acoustics of the building. Now we are going into the last um, the last attraction attraction site uh, on our ticket, which is which is the campus centre. So we'll go in there, and then afterwards we're probably going to get some dinner and just sit down for a while, um, and then catch the train back. So yeah, campus centre next. I just need one more look at everything in the square before I go. So we have finished um, in the piazza near, uh, near Pisa. So <clears throat> we're now just going to head back towards the station and get something to eat. Uh, maybe look in a few shops if they're open uh, just to kill some time before our train. Our train is a little bit later tonight at 7.30. Um, look, I've had an absolutely fantastic day. I didn't really want to leave the piazza. I was happy just to sit there and soak it all in. And But uh, it's getting it's getting cold. Um, cold and want somewhere nice and warm to snuggle um, in and keep warm while we wait for the train. So, yeah, we're just making our way back. Absolutely incredible day trip out here to Pisa from Florence. So definitely, definitely recommend it. You gotta do it. You gotta come and see the Leaning Tower. So we found something really yummy to eat dinner. We had Pokey Balls, uh, which were great. Uh, got uh, some Got some veggies, which was perfect. Um, now we're just at the station, and this will be our train. So we will catch this train uh, back to uh, Florence and um, call it a night. It's been a wonderful day. I've had a great, great day trip here in Pisa. Um, it's just, it's, it's been beautiful. Uh, I've loved every second, and thoroughly recommend, highly recommend uh, you coming and checking it out.